Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Cold Waters, the third-person submarine simulation game which puts you in charge of an American submarine in any one of two Cold War conflicts gone hot or a recent past conflict between the U.S. and China. All hypothetical, of course. Uh, in this game, we're picking up as part three of our Let's Play series uh, for Cold Waters, and uh, we are so far off to a good start. We're commanding the Sea Wolf, which is the most advanced U.S. submarine. We're also 2-0. Uh, and o. We've had two missions, one to intercept enemy submarines carrying uh, co commandos, and one to intercept an invasion force of the Philippines. Both missions have been successful, and thus our campaign is off to a good start. Uh, we really expended a ton of missiles and weaponry in the uh, destruction of the Chinese invasion fleet of the Philippines, uh, so our armament stores is a little bit depleted, but our ship is still at 100% hull strength, so I feel comfortable moving forward. Uh, the footage that you're going to see here was taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, and with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to myself from that live stream. Hope you guys enjoy the video, let me know your thoughts below, and I'll catch you guys at the end. So, let's see here. Intelligence estimates indicate that enemy commandos will land from a submarine in the vicinity of the Spratly Islands within the next week. You are ordered to intercept and eliminate them before they land. So it's going to be another cat and mouse game of enemy submarines and us trying to find quiet diesels. Alright, so they're going to go to the Spratly Islands, which are over here. The Spratly Islands. Is this them? Will this be them? We'll engage them in front of the Scarborough Shoal, maybe? Alright. Man your battle stations. Last bearing, 8-6. Contact faded. There is a moderate layer. Let's see what we got. They have a song. Alright. I think this one's probably the sub. Passing 100 feet. Why are we why are we surfacing? We're going up for a look, folks. Periscope depth. We're above the layer, which should make this thing interesting. It is a Ming, and it is below the layer. Shoot two, one. I'm gonna hear this for sure. We're really close. Maybe it won't, because we're above the layer. Not freaking out yet. He is turning. He's not cavitating. I got say! There needs to be like a lock mechanism when you're hunting torpedoes so that I don't have to like right click my mouse around. Oh yeah. Sierra 2, last bearing 1 2 1, contact breaking up. Sank the only enemy Ming. That was not my mission objective. Well, at least we sank an enemy submarine. I was wondering I was headed for Scarborough in any event. Didn't prevent us from killing an enemy. 
while we wait to see where the rest of their forces are. Actually, that might have been... I think sometimes what happens if enemy aircraft fly over your position and detect you, they send out, like, a hunter force after you. I've noticed that there tend to be forces that'll, like, zero in on where you're located. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of them. Still waiting for the enemy. We're by the Spratleys. Where yet? Oh, there they are. Oh, show. Let's get them. Move in slow speed, 10 knots. Hands made to battle stations. Rigs real quiet. For some reason, I'm at really shallow depth. There's a duct layer, but it's at 102 feet, which seems ludicrously shallow for me. Want to send a decoy out? I guess we can send a decoy out. See if it yields us anything. I was dumb and didn't look to see where the enemy uh, contact was located. Anybody recall where the contact was located? Anybody at all? I probably clicked through too quickly. <sighs> so nothing. Con sonar switching to active search. I think I saw something off the Alright. Con sonar switching the passive search. So we know there's Probably two enemy subs. He's away. So we're gonna Shoot two, two. I, sir. Shoot two, three. I, sir. see what comes of this. Alright, so the enemy have fired some torpedoes. Make turns for one, zero, not maneuvering eye. Yes, I know there's enemy torpedoes that are inbound. I'm heading 15 knots Make parallel to the incoming one, torpedoes, so my one, hope is that they won't zero eye. in on me. multiple torpedoes. Shoot this these guys already appear to be in search mode. We're littering the grounds with torpedoes everywhere. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love how I'm just like, we're gonna litter the, uh, the ocean with torpedoes. And some of them will hit, presumably. Fire control, weapon acquired. 
on sonar new contact bearing two eight nine designated Sierra one. Where is this contact? Contact is fading. Well, where is it? Oh, well, I think we may have sunk it. Uh, there appear to be two enemy submarines that are sunk that we never detected, and I just killed with my massive volleys of uh, torpedoes. Shit, we didn't detect the Ming. Oh. Okay, so I think we got the one that was relevant, I guess? There we go! So we got the victory. A recent satellite overflight showed large quantities of Russian weapons loaded onto Chinese freighters in the last 24 hours. Intel believes these ships will transit to Shantou. The PLA must not be allowed to get these reinforcements. You are hereby ordered to intercept and sink these freighters before they can make safe harbor. Be aware of commercial shipping. Visual identification uh, advised. Locate and sink the enemy freighters. Thing to... How? I don't think I have very many torpedoes left, by the way. Um, where is it again? Gantau. We have seven torpedoes left. Which means we can't even fill up our torpedo tubes with torpedoes. Although I guess it's fair to use harpoons against surface targets. We'll do that. We'll put four harpoons in the tubes and we'll put four torpedoes in the tubes. And Tau is up this a ways. Probably not that surface fort. Not sure where they're gonna be coming from though. Assuming they're going to come from the north, sub. Uh-oh. China invades the Spratleys. Those bastards. Unless this is the, the task force, but I doubt it. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for this to be the task force. If they're just cruising off the off the coast. Guess we'll find out. Passing one hundred feet. Con sonar new contact bearing zero nine four designated Sierra one. All right, let's see what this thing is. Alluda three. Father, the worst that could go wrong is that we succeeded in our mission. We killed the target. All right. Um, is this all we've got? We're getting some sonar. Sonar. Pretty sure there's another contact straight ahead. Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot two three, I sir. Let's pray the enemy doesn't uh shoot at us right away. So far nothing. Oh shit. Make turns for one zero knot. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knot. 
Oh god, there's airborne. Make turns We're so fucked. Can't even like get a good view of where these fish are because we're so shallow. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing two, four, one. Con fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing three, two, seven. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh shit. Alright, so we got the Luda. Shit! Can't do anything! Damn it! Be confused. Damn it! We have no power. No power at all. Reactor, somehow our holes are only at 50%. Damage control party. Need the reactor space. Con sonar, new contact bearing. One, three, eight. Designated Sierra, two. I want to go home. Hey, it blew up short of us. I'm okay with that. Oh shit, I meant to rig for ultra quiet. Alright, we need to repair our reactor because right now we're dead in the water. I don't know what is all out there. I'm just hoping that we... And there's another one that's coming at us. But I think we killed its parent. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, I'm going to cavitate. I need to get the hell out of the way of this enemy parachute missile thing that's going to come in right on us. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 3, last bearing 1, 7, 1, contact faded. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing 2, 7, 2. Fuck is it? Midship. Confused it with a knuckle for now. Con, torpedo room, two, three, ready. gonna have to return to base. This wasn't our mission, obviously. We just ran into a surface task force, I think. I don't know if being close to the bottom disrupts sensors or not in this game. Um, I've noticed torpedoes home directly in on a uh, on a submarine that's just sitting on the bottom, so I doubt it.
Rig ship for ultra quiet. Depth charge is right on top of us. I don't know if that aircraft has any more uh, torpedoes on board. They just dropped depth charges on us, but missed. Trying to go quiet now. Kind of sprinted away. Now I'm hoping I can sneak out. See, it looks like there was some explosion off there in the distance. No weapons, but still aircraft nearby. I took two torpedoes on only 80% hull damage. That's pretty awesome. More torpedoes off there on the horizon. I think that was airdropped. Certainly running in circles way the fuck out there. It's not gonna be a threat. Come on, game. They don't have me. Let me escape. I have no idea what I sank. S2, it doesn't really tell me. So we sank two escorts and a Jingwei and a Luda. Um, we have six torpedoes left, 80% hull. Wasn't my mission objective. And how, where the fuck is this surface task for? Not gonna be those subs, that's for sure. Don't want to deal with you, subs. Get away from me. Ah! Stay away! They keep hunting me down. I would assume if it's coming from Russia, it should be up here near the Sea of Japan. But so far, no surface task forces yet. Kind of far away from the port at this point. Uh, okay. No idea what I'm engaging. Vessels nearby that I can't spot yet. Con sonar, new contact bearing one eight. Con sonar, launch train Shit. from Sierra one. Shoot two four. I sir. Make turns for one five knots. Maneuvering eye. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Right down the motherfucking Baron. My torpedo should be smarter than your torpedo. That's all I'll say. But I don't think he has me. That torpedo's well behind. Ow! God damn. Just gonna fill the launch transient from Sierra One. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two, two, four. Contact breaking up. Alright. So I 
I think we're actually good at this point. We just gotta wait for those torpedoes to die. I think it was a hunter-killer force that was sent out against us. I think it was just the one sub, though. I also like that the Seawolf can have 80% hull damage and still not be flooding at depth, which is nice. So we sank the enemy sub. I have one torpedo left. There's no way I'm going to be able to... There... Well, there you go. There's the... God damn it. Looks like the surface force just randomly showed up off the coast of Chantal. really have no desire to base all of these forces. I really just want to escape. Got it. Can we escape now? Alright, so we sunk an enemy Han. Yes, that was not my mission objective. Oh, god damn it! Ugh! I have no weapons to shoot at these guys. Quick, leave. I was able to escape that one. I have to go back to Guam. I have no weapons left. We're going we're gonna to fail our first mission. We failed a mission. Alright. Chicoms reinforced. Yeah, okay. Turn to Guam. Which is fine. That's going to be what we're going to do. Three missions accomplished, one failed. We sank six warships, seven subs. A grand total of 51,000 tons. We also sank three merchants. Oops. Um, not bad. Not bad, sir. Uh, 12,000 tons of neutral shipping. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Enemy battle group armed to the teeth with cruise missiles is preparing to sail from Ningabu. Well, we're going to take, like, four days to rearm all of these freaking weapons. So, we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go with four harpoons. I really liked having all those tomahawk atta land attacks. Those seemed pretty effective. We're going to go with 22 torpedoes, six mosses, four harpoons, eight tasms. Keep the eight tea lambs and uh, we'll go ahead and repair the boat I think I guess the hull's already back to full strength so that's where we're ready to cast off and anchors away my lads let's go to the menu here let's save the game take a look at the summary 12 days at war three missions six warships seven merchants th or seven submarines three merchants 16 ships 51,000 tons of which 12,000 are not necessarily countable all right everybody that's going to wrap it up for this episode of our cold waters let's play series uh, i am going to add one caveat here we're three episodes into this series i've done the cold waters uh, south china sea campaign several times already and I One of the things I enjoyed most about some of my earlier Cold Waters videos uh, was the historical content, which was behind some of the videos. So I would play the game, I'd show the content, but I would also talk about various historical submarines, uh, weapon systems, things like that. And I want to pick that up uh, in this particular series, because frankly, this is probably going to be the last Cold Waters series that I do on this channel, uh, assuming that I play it through to completion uh, of the campaign. And so I want to go ahead and kind of get back into what I was doing before, talking about the history of some of the various submarines. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I will use the footage from the live streams going forward, but for the remainder of this particular series, or until I run out of content, 
Expect the videos to transition into a more historical discussion of various weapon systems and submarines uh, rather than the gameplay strictly going on in front of you. I'll try and find content, you know, where I'm using tomahawks. I'll talk about the tomahawk weapon system where I'm using a Seawolf. I'll talk about the USS Seawolf. But there will probably also be times where I'll be talking about the Nautilus, for example, and I may be using the Seawolf. So... Um, just expect that going forward in this series and uh, let me know if you're interested in it. But I, it is something I got a lot of tremendous feedback the first time around and would like to return to a little bit more of my roots of talking about history uh, rather than just gameplay. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me rambling here to wrap things up. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know your thoughts below. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying, as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm out.